guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here this is where i post hair content and just hair videos and a little bit about my life but today we are doing smenium bohemium knotless braids and i'm using um human hair blend so it's like a synthetic and human hair mix and then just three to two packs of expression hair so lately i've been pre-parting i got down my pre-part method and that is just separating the front from the back so then i can just do the back rows and then connect this to the front that just works for me i don't know if that works for you or if you're a braider or if you're doing your own hair um but this is just something that works for me and like i said i'll begin parting that first row it kind of just gives me a clear view of how many rows i should do and i've been doing this for a little bit to where i know how i should part i like to put gel on all four sides and just to clean up my parts not to cake it up on there but just enough to where it cleans it up and everything is laying in place <laughs> So behind me I have a braiding rack but instead of like reaching back there and grabbing it so I can feed it into the piece of hair I like to like set it up on the comb and then like maybe have a piece of my mouth or like over my arm and so I can feed it in easily I like having it on standby like real close to me. Another tip that I've gained while doing hair is um, I'll braid the first single braid all the way down just to get a feel, just so I can know like how many pieces I should add in because she's getting butt length. So like I added in maybe about two or three pieces and then um, it gives me an image of how the head is going to turn out. But then for the rest, I don't braid it all the way down just so I can get a nice rhythm and pace and so I can get done faster and then I'll go back through and just braid the ends. It's just a quicker way. But this is real time, guys, of me braiding this all the way down. And it's not quick. You're not finna, well, maybe not with me. I'm, I haven't got that good yet. Um, I'm not busting down medium or small braids in four hours butt length. Like, you see how tedious this is? And I'm like pinching, like to keep the braid nice and tight and crisp. But you have to pinch the hair and like keep going. Like, I'm still braiding, still braiding all the way down to the tip or as close as I can get. It's very tedious. So when I was talking about grip, you need grip when you're braiding the hair um, going down. But also when you're feeding in pieces, you need to have a nice solid grip to the scalp just so it's not loose. Just so the hair can last 
long. Um, it took me a while to kind of get that down. Like I knew it needed to be tight, but to really get a good grip and to know how to hold it, I think everyone's different. Um, but yeah, just working on your grip. Like if you could tell you don't have a good grip on your braid, restart. Like it's okay. Um, practice makes perfect. And having my hair pre-parted just from the front and the back section allows me to make these crispy lines like that. And then so then when I go to my front side, I can just connect it right to the front. It's just setting yourself up for success, you know, when you're doing this. And they see how that hair and that row is kind of tied up there. It's so I can like make it look brick layered instead of having it just a line going down her head. So just kind of um, set yourself up. And like I said before, you want to braid halfway so then you can finish it off um, at the end and go ahead and braid all the ends. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on my notification bell. When I first started to braid, I worked in the salon and like they taught me this. This girl said it to me and like it was a really good tip because it helped me kind of just um, incorporate that into what I'm doing here. But the braids are going to be smaller towards the front of the head. It don't matter what size it is. Maybe a sub large, but it's still maybe smaller. Like it's not going to be all the same size box, but it's supposed to be the illusion, you know? And like when I'm doing my small braids... Like, that little front piece is going to be more of, like, a triangle square piece. It's going to be smaller, and that's okay. That's fine. Like, if you could tell here, it looks good. It looks flat. It's brick layered, and it's smaller, closer to the top, like, the peak of her head to the back. So, this is me after I blow-dried, put mousse on her hair, and dipped her ends. Um, I pent up her curls because they are synthetic and human hair mix. So they're better than synthetic hair, but they are still synthetic curls. And I just pinned it up so I can dip her braids. And this is me just separating everything and putting it all back together. Um, mixing the curls throughout the hair. And this is just, this just looks so beautiful and so satisfying to me. Like this right here is just gorgeous, y'all. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. And stay tuned to see the results at the end. She loved it and I loved it. And this is Miana Style signing out. Thanks for watching.